in the field of astronomy in 1973. There were a couple of scientists who got the Nobel Prize. And these couple of scientists, they described the creation of the universe. And they called it the Big Bang. And they said that initially, our universe, it was a primary nebula. Then there was a Big Bang. There was a secondary separation, which gave rise to galaxies, the stars, the planets, the sun, the moon, and the earth on which we live. This they called as the Big Bang. The glorious Quran mentions this in a nutshell. 1400 years ago, in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 30, the ayah I started my talk with. And it says, Avalam yara lazina kafiru. Do not the unbelievers see. Anna samawati wal arda nahuma. That the heavens and the earth were joined together and we clove them asunder. This verse of the glorious Quran speaks about the Big Bang in a nutshell 1400 years ago, which science has discovered recently. Hardly 30 years back, 35 years back. The glorious Quran says in Surah Fusilat, chapter number 41, verse number 11. Moreover, he comprehended in his design the sky when it was smoke and said to it, and the earth come ye together willingly or unwillingly, and they said, we come in willing obedience. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he said to the sky when it was smoke, come ye together along with the earth willingly or unwillingly, and they said, we come together in willing obedience. Today, the scientists, they tell us that initially the celestial matter of the universe, it was in the form of gas. And the Arabic word used in this verse of Surah Fusila, chapter 41, verse number 11, is Dukhan. Dukhan does not merely mean gas, it specifically means smoke. And today scientists say that smoke is a more closer and more scientific as compared to gas, because that time it was hot. Imagine, the Quran mentions 14 years ago, which we discovered recently, that the initial celestial matter of the universe, it was in the form of smoke.